All right, y'all, you already know. So, Javante Tank Davis is claiming that he's only going to fight two more times after he fights Lamont Roach and that he's going to retire in 2025. Now, he was asked during the interview, I believe it was with Fight Hype or Fight Hub. I can't remember which, which platform. But he was asked about Shakur Stevenson, and he said that he's not going to fight Shakur because Shakur hasn't fought anybody. And that he doesn't Shakur is only going to fight defense he's he has no offense and you know he hasn't proven himself and I've been seeing in the boxing world people talking about is it a duck because Javante Tank Davis also said that he doesn't care about legacy he just wanted to get his money and I, I'm gonna have to say this I call cap on it I do believe that Javante does care about legacy because he gets so agitated when he's asked questions and while Shakur at this moment has a reputation for being a boring fighter Javante also even though he has knockouts he really hasn't fought nobody and even though he fought Orion Garcia who is currently suspended for taking a banned substance against Devin the Dream Haney Ryan said he was weight drained and per Ryan's own words he knew he was going to lose the fight going in there because he had a hydration clause I think the, what was the fight at 136 and he could only gain 10 pounds prior to uh, or on the next day you know a lot of times fighters are rehydrate up 20 pounds 15 20 pounds easily to fight somebody but if Javante doesn't fight Shakur Stevenson it 100% absolutely will be a duck and Javante historically will be known as more of a social media uh, hood people's champion boxer but not an all-time great if he doesn't fight De Devin the Dream Haney it's going to be a duck and there's several other fighters as well and the thing about boxing and Floyd, and I seen 78 talk about this earlier, because Floyd came in with the whole, I got my O and I ain't afraid to let it go. Because prior to all of this, if you lost in boxing, you lost. It is what it is. But Floyd came out with this whole, oh, my record's undefeated. And because his whole or was built on that that hurt boxing because you got all these a minus b and c level fighters coming in now they're afraid to take losses which what happens the best don't fight the best it takes years to make it even though i was a fan of watching earl spence and terrence crawford fight that fight should have happened back in like 2019 or something terrence crawford called out he'd been calling out earl spence for years for years ever since he moved up to 147 and won that belt against uh i can't i don't i don't believe his name was josh i forget it not josh taylor what was his name i forgot the top of my head but uh the australian that beat manny pacquiao ever since then he's been calling out earl spence and that mirror earl spence was ducking it was too many games too much all oh, on the side of the street then earl hurdy getting in accidents and and uh all this other stuff we should deserve to see the fights how we want to see them sugar ray leonard and Tommy Hearns fought in a prime. Even when Tommy Hearns fought Marvin Hagler and so on, Roberto Duran was fighting people, so on and so forth. They was fighting in a prime. Mike Tyson was undisputed, undefeated champion by 21 years old. We don't want to wait six, seven, eight years and and really hope, and you got to switch three, four promotional companies to see the best fight the best. So, look, at the end of the day, Tank a grown man. He can do whatever he want to do. But if he does not fight Shakur, if he does not fight Devin and several other fighters, it will go down as a duck and history will forever know that yeah tank fought people but when you really break it down he never fought nobody he never really challenged himself to fight nobody even though even though floyd was money mayweather when he was pretty boy floyd he it wasn't like he was out there ducking people i remember he fought zab and um uh, and diego corrales and castillo twice and if you watch the castillo fight with the sound off floyd beat him a true old guy he saw on and so forth so even though him and manny pacquiao was playing all the politics for years floyd had a resume manny pacquiao had a resume these fighters don't even have a resume no more and don't and barely want to fight each other which is why boxing a lot of boxing fans have said man forget it we going to mma one thing about dana white he gonna have the best fight the best so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think